Hi, I'm Kristen Hayoski. And I'm Ashley Guy. And I'll be asking Ashley a few questions for my EDM 310 class. Um, Ashley, what school do you teach at? I teach at Pritchard Preparatory School. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you like to teach? Yes, I love to teach um, using a lot of projects. I love to teach where the kids teach each other. I give them the opportunity to um, express themselves based on their interests. Some of my kids love music, so they'll make songs up based on the unit or the information that I give them. Um, some of them like writing poems, so they'll write poems based on their interest in the subject that we're learning to. So that's cool. You use what they are interested in to teach them. Right. You mean, you get bored listening to somebody talk if you're not that type of learner, so why not spark their interest on, you know, yeah, give them the information that they need for the curriculum, but let them learn it in their way. Yeah. Because um, I'm a visual learner, so I have to, I, I like to draw pictures when I'm, when I'm learning. If I have, um, let's just say, a sequence of pictures, I'm able to put that in order more so than having a list of things um, yeah. to put in order. So what grade do you teach? I teach fourth grade. So um, about how the kids respond? Um, my kids love the project-based learning. Um, I found out very quickly whenever I moved from first grade to fourth grade, I, I was had the mindset of everybody has to take notes. Mm -hmm. um, because that, that's how I did when I got up in upper elementary. We did the Roman numeral one main idea and then ABC is in the notes. Um, I found out very, very quickly that they were not ready for that. They had not been taught that in previous years, so I, I had to continue the fact of, okay, I've got to get them on the same page of where I'm at curriculum-wise, but I've got to modify it to their interest. And I just kind of played, played with a couple of things and kind of saw, okay, this group of kids may like it this way, this group of kids may like it that way, and that's how your classrooms are. You all have, you have individual kids. Yeah, sometimes you'll have a group of kids that, that like it one way and another group of kids that like, that like it another. So that's when you have to modify. You yeah. have to make sure that you're getting the point across, you're getting the material across, but it doesn't necessarily matter yeah. how you're getting it across. As long as they're getting it and they're enjoying it yeah. and they, they like what they're doing, they're, they're going to be more receptive to that. Yeah. So do you use technology in your classroom? I do. I love the smart board. I love all the resources that you can use with the smart board, um, the interactive learning. Um, I, I do have a whiteboard in my classroom, but I don't necessarily use that very often. Yeah. Um, if I just have to write some announcements mm -hmm. or things like that, the kids like more hands-on. They like to be able to get up out of their seat, go to the smart yeah. board. Um, you know, um, I do use a Kindle in my classroom. Um, the kids love it. They they use it as a form of reading. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only time I've used it. I haven't, you know, ventured out with math or anything like that yet. Um, they use it as a center tool. They can go to um, their reading centers with a partner or individual. They can do a closed reading, read back and forth with their partner. Um, they they love that, and they also love when I use it as an incentive or a reward. Um, in the classroom to where if they might finish a little bit earlier than other students and they do well on their um, assignment, um, then they can use it. But, you know, I don't reward them if they finish quickly and don't do well on their yeah. assignment. So I just make sure that um, if they are getting to use it as a reward, they've deserved it. Mm -hmm. So so how does your principal feel about project-based learning and the way that you're teaching? My principal is amazing. She gives us every resource. She allows us to use any type of resource. Um, that we can get. Um, she provides a lot of things for us. My classroom is not a quiet classroom. It, we're always moving, always doing something to where the kids are engaged. Um, and she understands that. So when she comes in for an observation, she understands that it's not going to be quiet. It, it, it may look like chaos at times, but it is um, controlled chaos. It, 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 the students know what they're doing. They know when to do it, how to do it, and how to complete yeah. it. So um, a, cl a quiet classroom is not always the mm -hmm. best way to go, and my principal is so for that. She's, she's amazing. She um, actually pulls ideas, you know, from several classrooms in the school to share to mm -hmm. make sure everybody's doing, you know, some type of project-based yeah. learning.
Well, that's good that you have her support. Mm -hmm. She She's great. She um, makes it a point, too, to make sure that we're developing as teachers. You know, there's always something new out there. There's always something better. And she, she makes sure that we have the resources and study other things to make sure that we're implementing it in our classroom. Okay. That sounds good. Um, thank you for sharing your classroom experience with us. Um, I look forward to talking with you more about your classroom in the future. Maybe I can get some more helpful tips. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you.